What's up guys? It's your girl, Elkie. How y'all doing today? Y'all loving my wig? I love this color. Anyways, alright kids, let's talk. So when I first seen the commercials for the first season of the show, WAGS, you know, women and girlfriends of athletes, like a true hater, I was like, what's this show about? That's some bull crap. But then, you know, I was like, all right, let me be big girl. Let me take my hater panties off and put my big girl panties on. And let's watch the show and see what it's all about. So I watched a few episodes. You know, it's not like I have it on record or remind or whatever, whatever. But I watched a few episodes and I actually kind of like the show. I actually really, really kind of like the show. Um, because some of the girls on there, I think, are real cool. You know, real fun and pretty. So I love me some Olivia. I think she's so funny and gorgeous. And, you know, I love Natalie. And I think them two together are just an item. They, you know, they have good energy between between each other and you know not to mention that they're gorgeous and I love their style so for them two alone I like to watch the show and then I didn't think they're gonna get a second season but lord and behold they did which is fine I'm still watching it you know I tune I'm tu I'm tuning in here and there and I'm still digging it I still love Olivia and Natalie but recently they added some, I guess, new girls to the group because, you know, finally, LA, hello, we got the Rams. So now, I only seen one episode with, you know, the new girls, how they all met and, you know, had dinner together. And I'm not going to name any names, but one of them, I mean... Her attitude is so stank, and she literally just got on the show. And by stank, I mean, you calling girls thoughts. I mean, everybody knows what a thought is, right? The thirsty H-O-E -H -O over there, a thought. But why? I don't understand why people always, like, like right away have to, like, call other people names and, you know, talk about, oh... You know, this is my husband and I'm married and all these thirsty women want to take pictures with my husband, blah, 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 blah. It's like, first of all, if you talk bad about people and you want to judge people and you want to call other people thoughts, make sure you don't look like a thought. Because girl, that beauty supply wig that you was wearing, not cutting it. You do not look like an athlete's wife. The first episode, her breasts was like literally sitting on her plate. I mean, the whole time she was, you know, tagging on her top because her shit was like falling out. So what I'm saying is that if you're judging people, make sure that you look the part, that you look the part of, you know what I'm saying, that wife or that girlfriend and not judging other people and calling other people thoughts when you literally look like the person that you're talking about. And another thing that kind of pisses me off is... Just because you're a girlfriend or you got that ring on your finger, honey, you are not irreplaceable. You do understand that, right? It's like some of these women are so, hmm, shall I say, petty with it. And I understand it's for the TV show and they have to, you know, exaggerate and, you know, put drama on, blah, 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 blah. But I really sometimes believe that some of these girls really believe that in real life. It's like... Before you got married or before you were a girlfriend, hmm, my guess is you was one of these dots or one of these girls or whatever you want to call them. And you just got lucky and got married or got in a relationship with, you know, the person that you're with now. But stay humble. I mean, you got in a relationship, you got married, you're with a man that loves you, you love him, but it's like... Don't become this person that now looks down on other women because you used to be one of these women. So let's keep it real. Let's keep it all the way real. You know, there's a few of us or a few of, you know, fewer women that maybe never want to get married, that like to be single, that like to be alone. I'm one of them. But let's be real. At the end of the day, we all would like to marry a rich, successful, handsome, gorgeous man. 
Me too. I would like that. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, whatever, I stay single. But what I'm saying is that every woman wants that. Of course everybody wants every woman wants that. We all want that, you know, that perfect man. We all want an athlete or a rich man or a successful man, whatever, you know, whatever success. Because at the end of the day, we all looking for the security. We all looking for, you know, that comfort. And we all want that lifestyle. Anybody, you know, that would say that they don't want that, well, I think they kind of, you know, not telling the truth, but whatever. I just don't like that now that you have that lifestyle. Enjoy it. Enjoy your man. Enjoy your relationship. You know, stop talking down on other people and calling them thoughts, especially when you look like a thought. You going on this TV show, honey, you need to look like top notch. Maybe you should take some pointers from, you know, Miss Natalie and Miss Olivia, who always look gorge. But, you know, it was just the first episode, so who knows. She from Ohio. So, you know, she coming to L.A. Time for a new stylist. You know, who can hook her up. But whatever. At the end of the day, whatever you look like, whatever your wig looks like, just stay humble. You know what I mean? You're in this relationship and, um, you know, you have the man of your dreams. Just stay humble because you are replaceable real easy. You know, if he don't want you no more or if the relationship goes sour or whatever the case might be, guess what? You're going to be right back where you started. So just, you know, take it down a notch. But again, you know, that's just my opinion after watching the show. But I will continue to watch and hopefully things will improve. Hopefully the wigs will improve and hopefully the attitudes will improve. My guess it probably won't because, you know, those shows are always about drama. But I will stay tuned and I will be watching and who knows, I might have a different opinion. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for tuning in. More to come. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up. If you like my video, hey, if you don't agree with me, that's cool too. Anywho, I gotta go. More videos coming up soon. Mm -hmm.